Oh man, is this the growing home sugar cane right here? I think it is. So if you don't see it on your doorstep, also check your mailbox because they may put it in there as well. So you're gonna get your sugar cane delivered right to your doorstep. So inside your box, you're gonna find your sugar cane in an all natural box, natural shavings. We left out the plastic here and you're gonna find your sugar cane sticks ready to plant. Come on with us, we're gonna show you guys how to plant them as well, come on. All right, so you got your growing home sugar cane, just came to your door, now you're wondering, what do I do now? So there's a few options to plant your sugar cane. You could take your sugar cane clippings, your sugar cane sticks, and you could put the whole thing in one pot. Hang on, hang on. What's that on your arm over there? Oh, that's Frank right there. He's, he's hanging out. Frank the Frog. But anyway, so you could put this whole thing in the pot like that, put some soil on it. Or what we like to do to get a little bit more propagations, is you could take one stick, you could go ahead and cut it in half, but when you cut it, you want to make sure to cut in between the nodes. This is where the sugar cane is going to pop up, right there. That's where the new sugar cane is going to pop up. So I'm going to cut right in between, right there. However you can do this, just like that. Cut right in between. See you, Frank. See you next time. And now we're going to put these in one gallon pots. I didn't fill the pot with soil all the way up yet. So I'm going to put this right here put this one here. We're going to use this pot for the soil. And then we're going to put about a two inch layer on top. That's all you really need in a pot. You don't need to bury them too deep. A couple inches. And then what we like to do too, to keep the moisture in, and we'll talk about what soil in a second, but what we like to do to keep the moisture in is a little, about an inch layer of mulch on top. So after you cover it up with a little bit of soil, about a couple inches of soil, you'll put a couple inches of mulch on top because sugarcane like the moisture. They like soil that holds the moisture. So when you're looking for soil, look for something with a lot of organic matter, like a compost, something that's gonna hold a lot of moisture. And like I said, at the end, after you put the soil on top, you're gonna put a thin layer of mulch. Now this is day one right here, sugarcane, but we got some example for you guys over here of some sugar cane that we did the exact same thing to. This is three week old sugar cane right here. This is how it should look in about three to four weeks. And then right here is three or four month old sugar cane. And this is ready to get in the ground. Even at this level, you could go ahead and get it in the ground. This is one of the options you could do when you get your growing homes box of sugar cane. You could go ahead and put them in pots. Or what you could do is you could put these sugarcane sticks right into the ground. So let's go over to the garden right now. So we're in the garden. Thank you guys again for purchasing this sugar cane from us. We really appreciate it. It really helps us grow. We personally like to plant our sugar cane in areas that hold a good amount of water. So if you're ever walking through your yard and you feel a, an area that's kind of spongy kind of area, that'd be a great spot to pick your sugar cane. So the tools we like to use to dig our holes is a shovel. This is our favorite tool to use, a pickaxe. But if you can't have access to one of these or you don't have one of these, a nice little pointy shovel would do the trick. So. So we went ahead before the video, we went ahead and dug our area. Before you plant your sugar cane as well, make sure you pull all the weeds out, get a nice clean level base. Um, you, you want it to be where there's no weeds or no other plants obstructing it. As you can see behind me, this is more mature sugar cane. And this area that it's growing on is, is a little bit lower lying and a lot of water drains into this area. That's why the sugar cane is doing so well. So, so you have your sugar cane here, right? So these little things again are the nodes and that's basically what each one of these right here is going to come out of these little nodes right here. So you want to make sure to plant it sideways because if you plant it like this, these nodes right here, they're going to grow down. Eventually they may hook around and come up, but if you plant them like this, they have a really good chance of just going straight up. So we have our hole here. You only want to dig down a couple inches deep. You don't, you don't need to dig that deep. So we, we got our hole here dug two inches deep. 
All right, so we're gonna put our sugar cane laying sideways just like that. So we got our first cane like that. And you could, you could leave a, about a foot spacing on it. You don't have to plant them right up against each other because these are all gonna shoot up, right? So we like to keep about a foot in, in, in space in between. So, so we got all of our cane here, about a foot in between. We're gonna, just, just gonna plant it right down the line, about a foot in between. And all of this stuff is co uh, compostable, guys, too, so you can just drop it back in. It'll compost in your garden as well. So here's another stick right here. Here's another one. And here's the last one right here, all right? Eight sticks of sugar cane is gonna give you about 15 feet of, of distance. So now we got our, our sugar cane planted. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come back and just cover them up, all right? You don't need to plant them super deep, uh, two to three inches down. You're gonna come back, plant them, fill in the gaps, all right? You're gonna fill it right back on top. Another thing you guys wanna to do too while you're, before your, your, your sugar cane is being planted, you wanna you want to break up the area a little bit, right? Don't just dig a little bit of hole. Try to break up around it, you know, a couple feet out. So before this video, we, we went ahead and broke up all the, all the dirt and loosened it up about two feet wide at least. Um, two to three feet wide, you want to break it up. So that way the roots can really get established and they don't have to really fight into hard, hard soils, right? So we're going to go ahead and cover it back up. And then one more tip as well, guys, when you're planting your sugar cane, make sure you get a couple bags of mulch, um, you know, as well. We have, we've had this mulch here already. And you want to just sprinkle it lightly back on top. You don't have to put it in a lot of inches deep. You know, maybe about an inch worth of mulch. That's about all you need. Because you want to you wanna give them a chance to come up easily, right? So we like to put about a, an inch back on top. And what mulch does, this is natural fertilizer. And it'll also help keep the moisture in the soil as well. So that's, that's what your mulch does. Go ahead and put your, uh, your box scraps back on top as well. So we got our mulch. So you can expect your sugar cane to start popping up within two to four weeks. Um, and, and to get to this size right here, it could, it, it'll take anywhere from 10 to 12 months. This one right here, um, you, you could be looking at about seven to eight months. This one right here, anywhere from 12 to 15 months. All right guys, so we put the sugar cane either in the ground or you put them in pots to get a little bigger. And the last thing you're gonna do is you're gonna soak them real good. Like we said, sugar cane love to drink. So don't be afraid to water them pretty good. And here's all the sugar cane in the ground. So what we like to do to make sure that the ground stays moist is one, we like to pick an area that we know holds more water. That's like a little hack in the beginning. If you try to plant sugarcane where it's really, 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 really dry, you're gonna have to water it a lot, which, you know, which is tough. So make sure to really soak them and pick a good location that holds the moisture. And really don't skip the mulch. Like that's one of the biggest secrets to growing food is mulch. As you can see, we have mulch everywhere. Mulch is really gonna help you keep the moisture in and have a great environment for your sugar cane to prosper, just like the cane we have right behind us. So as you can see, I'm really taking my time soaking this sugar cane, running out of words to say. So it's day one of planting sugar cane. The whole goal is to have sugar cane like this so that you could juice it and make things out of the sugar cane juice, process it into sugar, whatever you want to do with the sugar cane. But now, like we said, this is about 10 to 12 months, but what do you do in between that 10 to 12 months to ensure that you have sugar cane like this. Now some of the things we like to do, we like to make sure that the mulch stays nice and thick because this will break down over time. We also really like to feed it fish emulsion and compost tea. Those two things sugar cane really love in the form of liquid because they really drink a lot. So every quarter, we do it like quarterly, so three or four times before this reaches maturity, we'll spray it with compost tea or uh, fish emulsion. So along with those two natural fertilizers, there's some other natural fertilizers that we use when growing our sugar cane. We like to add worm castings, which is just worm poop. We like to add biochar, which is like charcoal. It's like burnt up trees, which adds a lot of carbon. And we also like to add azomite as well. So if you have access to those things, if not, you can order those online. But sugar cane, they can eat, so 
fertilize them naturally. So thank you guys again for purchasing some of our growing homes at sugar cane. We really appreciate it. We really appreciate you guys for following along on our journey. When you're doing your installation, when you're planting your sugar cane, tag us in it. Tag us in your post. We'd love to see you guys planting it. We'd love to share it and, and spread the message and really get a lot of other people growing, help, help people have success in their gardens. And also send this to a friend as well. Send this to another gardener. If you got some value out of it, if you learned how to plant your own sugar cane, if you've had some success, spread the love, spread the, spread the knowledge, and share this with another gardener you know who'd want to have their own sugar growing right in their own yard. Yeah, and if there's any other questions that you guys are wondering about, feel free to shoot us a DM on Instagram. Or send us an email. Send us a quick email as well. We'll get back yeah. to you. Send us an email, info at growinghomes.com. You can reach us anytime. Keep on growing. Keep growing, guys. Thanks again. Sugar cane juicing. So what's the benefit of making them thinner? Yeah, and what are you doing? Take the machete, get your hands out of there, give it some tap. You want to put it in the middle of the stick? Yep. Then what? Uh, What's this not, contraption? Don't put the machete where your feet are gonna be. This contraption is a sugar cane extractor. What is that behind you? Sugar cane, different variety. This is black, this is homeowner green. All right, you put it in like that. We're going. Make sure this spigot, this is closed, and then when you turn it, it's open. And here's the, here's the pour. So this is a hand crank. Where'd you get this machine? Uh, yeah, I don't know. You got it. <laughs> hey, I got it from. Got it I on Amazon. up one day Am at the door. I said, "Sweet, we got a machine." <laughs> Amazon is where we found it. And over here we have, I believe they're stainless, stainless steel ice trays. And what we like to do is make our own ice cubes with sugarcane juice. They freeze very well, and then once this. Uh, this top clicks over, that basically separates the cubes. So we like to put it in our, if you want to make cold tea or cold coffee or or even uh, like a lemonade. There's your sugar right yeah. there in the cube. So he's cranking over here. We'll show you how this thing works. It's got a filter on the top. It's it's spinning around that, uh, that sp spindle there. <laughs> spindle. I think there's three of them. It's like a uh, meat grinder. Yeah, so here we go. So we're gonna we're gonna open this thing up. It's flowing. Some like to say this is the nectar of the gods right here. It's a different variety. This variety here is a black sugar cane. Or purple. Some say purple. Purple cane. That's good. That's really good. And this thing is flowing. So yeah, if you're in South Florida or you know anybody, you know, in this area that's growing cane, share this video with them. Subscribe for more. Uh, if you guys have any questions at all, if you know, let us know in the comments below. Subscribe for more tips. You know, if we get a hurricane and we need to drink some some great liquid to add some fuel. There's no there's no sugar, no no water, no power. We're cranking. Purple cane. That's it. All right, stay tuned everybody. Thanks for tuning in.